Greetings, brethren and friends, and thank you for tuning in to this 13th episode of On the Level. We are well into our summer activities, which means our 4th of July celebrations and parades are just around the corner. I look forward to again participating in the New Hall Parade on July 4th. The community goes all out for this parade, and it is always a lot of fun. It is important that we remember why we celebrate the 4th of July. It is, of course, our Independence Day, and is really the official starting point of the birth of our incredible nation. We wouldn't have the rights and freedoms we enjoy if not for the dedicated men and women of our armed forces. Accordingly, I have proclaimed July Support Our Masonic Veterans Month. I hope you will seek opportunities to work with your lodge brothers, families, and youth orders to serve our veterans. It may be as simple as thanking somebody who has served our country, or you may take a more meaningful role in a veteran's life, making sure that they are being well cared for and are able to live a life of dignity. Our Masonic Hospital Visitors Program Committee members work very hard for our veterans every day. These men are a constant presence at the veterans hospitals and homes across the state, working for and advocating on behalf of our Masonic vets. I salute and thank you, brethren. While we are taking time to reflect on this incredible nation we call home, I encourage you to begin planning for your Constitution Observance event in September. The ideals of Freemasonry are woven throughout our country's founding documents. I will go so far as to state that we would not have the government and society we have today were it not for the influence of our Masonic forefathers. A Constitution Observance Program is a great way to involve members of your lodge who you may not see very often, as well as our Masonic Youth Orders, and most importantly, our communities. I encourage you to plan an event that is appropriate for and open to the public. Let us show the world what Freemasonry is all about. The current issue of our award-winning California Freemason Magazine is all electronic. I think you will especially appreciate this issue as it allows a fun and unique way to use technology to find new ways to present and share the Masonic experience. This edition includes more in-depth interviews and articles than ever before, and it covers a subject that is near to my heart, Freemasonry and volunteerism. I have to believe that Freemasonry and volunteerism have gone hand in hand from the very beginning. We are always there for a brother in need, and we strive to do so for our communities as well. And there is one secret about helping others. When we do so, we feel good about ourselves. As we are out among our communities this summer, volunteering our time and participating in fairs and parades, I encourage you to look for opportunities to distribute the In Case of Emergency, or ice packs, that were created by Brother Christian Wheeler of Washington Lodge Number 20. Each lodge received an initial supply of 250 kits last year, so if you haven't used them, please dig them out and put them to use. You may order more from the repair shop through LA Fraternal Supply at the address below. These kits are a tremendous benefit to our communities, and in addition to helping people through a stressful time, they afford us the opportunity to let people know about the Masonic family. We will be in my neck of the woods the weekend of July 10th, starting with a reception at my home lodge, Channel Islands number 214, on that Friday evening. The next day is the always popular Scottish Rite Steak and Lobster Summer Picnic in Camarillo. And then, since we just won't have had enough to eat for the day, we head to Anacapa Lodge number 710 in Oxnard, for the Grand Filipiana event. This is where we get to enjoy the Filipino culture, food, and brotherhood, and is always a lot of fun. I will try not to break any bones when they have me do the traditional dance. We will honor Doug Eichen, our assistant grand lecturer, with a reception in Norwalk on July 12th, and then head over to Los Angeles for the annual communication for California Prince Hall. I love the brand of Freemasonry practiced by our Prince Hall brethren and look forward to being a part of their sessions. There is one more event that I would like those of you in the South to get on your calendars. On Thursday, July 16th, we will hold what I am referring to as a Brotherhood Degree Exemplification at the Burbank Masonic Center. 
We will exemplify a degree with brethren performing the ritual in their native language. I have heard our degrees in several foreign language, languages, and it always impresses me how while I don't understand a word of it, at the same time I understand all of it. This illustrates the true universality of Freemasonry. This degree will, of course, be followed by a meal, but not just any meal. The food will be a smorgasbord of the ethnic foods of the participants in the degree. I am sure we will all personally grow from this experience and will leave with a greater understanding and appreciation of different cultures. I thank you for sharing this time with me. Please feel free to share this link with anybody you feel may have an interest in seeing it. And you can subscribe to this channel on YouTube so you will receive a notification whenever a new episode airs. Please feel free to leave a message for me below that I will be happy to address. And remember, we are repairing the world by improving ourselves. See you in Lodge.